Hello, in this video, I'm gonna talk again about Note Plan, which I've talked about a couple times, which I'm still using and loving. There have been some recent great updates, and one of them is the plugins. And I wanted to share specifically how you can use some of the templates plugins here, because I know that was something very requested, and in the last video, I kind of showed a workaround. But now with the plugins, you can actually apply templates that you save, so I wanna show how that works and some shortcuts. Okay, so first off, how do we get here? If you go into the note plan menu bar and you go into preferences, then there is the plugins preferences and you download whichever ones that you want. Now there is a whole templates plugin, but I actually have this note helpers one and that has the templates within it. So both of these are actually within the note helpers one and I wonder if they'll end up combining it later. The plugins are still relatively new. So for right now, I have just downloaded the note helpers and I'm gonna talk a lot about that in this video. The first step, I already have it downloaded, but you would just press the download button. That's it. Once you hit the download button, then if you go back into your daily note, and now if you press Command J to get to the command bar, if you type in a forward slash like this, then you'll see a list of all the different plugins that you have installed. But again, I'm gonna really focus on this template one. This first one is what I'm gonna select. And then the first time that you run it, I deleted it so I could show you a walkthrough of how it works. The first time, it will ask you to create this templates folder with some samples that they put in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. And you can put it in one of the folders that you have, but if you just want to add it to your main notes, just choose this first one and press OK. And then I'm gonna go over here and show you how that works. So basically it created a folder that's called templates and it created two things in it the daily note template and a meeting note template and these are just pre-installed in there you can customize them as you want so if you don't want like task media journal maybe you want tasks research and journal you can customize it like that and you can also add templates of your own so let me go ahead and do that i'm going to just create a new note okay so within that folder a new note and you would create your own template here. So say you have a to-do list that you do on a daily basis that you want to remember with three items on it. You could create a morning task list, afternoon task list, evening review task list, whatever you wanna do. Okay, this is just for example purposes. Now I have three things in there. The two that were already created for me that again, you can customize them like I did there. I changed that to research and I created a new page. Just make sure that you're creating everything that you want within that templates folder. Okay, so now let's go back to a daily note. Now let's run it again. So I'm just going to do command J and then I'm going to do that forward slash and I'm gonna use the same IT command here. And now you'll see I have three things to choose from. So let's go ahead and apply the daily note template. And you'll see that it has those three things, the task, the research, and the journal. And then I can populate it. And then if I want to add in the other template, go ahead and run that. And I can do my own template. And that just puts it always at the top. And then if I wanna move it, I can move it. I'm going to just move it with the shortcuts, command, control, down arrow to move it as a block. I just highlight the whole block and then I can move it. So that is basically how the templates plugin works. Now we also have this one that is the forward slash NN and that creates a new note with the title in a chosen folder with an optional template. So let me show you how that works. It says enter title of the new note, sample note create it, and then you can apply one of the templates that you already have created. So I can start it with maybe my meeting note template for this one, and then I tell it which folder I want it to go into. So I'm gonna choose this one, which is no folder at all, so that it just goes down here. And you'll see that it created it with the title sample note, and it gave me my template, which was my meeting note template. So I was using this one. 
And then where it says date, you would just populate it with the date. So I would go back and I would just say like today. And then with Y and Z, you can just change it to the names if you are using that kind of mentions tagging system. If you've been using Noteplan, then you understand what I'm saying there. If not, don't worry about it too much. Last thing that I wanna show is sometimes it might be a lot of steps, you know, to actually do the whole command J and then do the slash IT and, you know, go through all those steps. So something that has just been released is there's now the plugins actually are shown right here in the menu bar. So first of all, you could just choose it from here, apply your daily note template, for example, like that. But what you can also do is you can create a keyboard shortcut on the Mac. Let me show you how that works. So if I go into my system preferences and I go into keyboard, you can go into shortcuts and then go into app shortcuts. And here's where you can add any custom shortcuts that you want. So hit on the plus sign and then you want to apply this to your note plan application. And then for the menu title, you need to use the exact menu title that was here. So it is the slash IT that I want. So that's exactly what I'm going to write. Just like that. And then you can assign a keyboard shortcut. Make sure that you're using a unique one, one that's not a replication of something that was already assigned. Otherwise, you're going to cause a conflict. So just look around in note plan and try a couple different keyboard shortcuts and choose one that doesn't do anything in note plan already. So I'm going to choose control shift T because that's like a template for me and that keyboard shortcut I don't see being used in note plan yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it and then I'm gonna go back to note plan. And so now if I click on the plugins, go to note helper, you'll see that that shortcut is now assigned, which I wanted. And then if I go anywhere and I used control shift T, you'll see that it just pulls up this menu right away so that I can apply my template very quickly here instead of having to do the whole command J thing and type in slash IT and then get there. So that is a quick wrap up of, again, we started with going to note plan, going to preferences, and then clicking on the plugins menu to install the plugins that we wanted to. And you can get some more information about the ones by clicking on website here, but Again, I just focused on the note helpers one today and really the IT and the NN ones so that I focused on just using the templates. And then we created a templates folder. We added any notes and the notes were just templates that we wanted to carry over. So this was the one that I had set up. And then we were able to apply that by using the command J command bar forward slash IT. And then we went through how to create a shortcut by using system preferences. So we went to system preferences, we clicked on keyboard, then we went to app shortcuts and we added a new one for note plan and then just make sure you're using the exact menu title that you saw and then choose a unique keyboard shortcut that's not being used anywhere else. And then that is really it. Um, there are a lot of other great ones. Like I really like the JH, which jumps to heading so that when I have a really long note, I can kind of get this table of contents. So I only have two headers in this one, but say I had some more headers just like that. Now command J slash JH jump to, I can jump right to header Three, and it would take me right there. So that's great when you have a really long note and I have some really long notes. Okay, I hope that this video was helpful. That'll be it for now, bye.